All right, you guys, it's about to happen. We're embarking on our maiden voyage. We're all fueled up and ready to go. I mean the bus and us. We stopped for Subway sandwiches at the truck stop. Cause you know, we're truck stop life now. <laughs> Did we ever look at, um, to see how many miles it is to Colorado Springs from here? 10 hours. 10 hours, close enough. So hopefully we'll make it halfway and stop somewhere along the way tonight. for the night and guess what Mike's about to do I'm having a margarita straight out the bottle <laughs> it doesn't get more redneck than that <laughs> it was a long drive man <laughs> long drive you, you did a good job you got us here <laughs> excellent work my dear thank you Bahones <laughs> So long preview town of Socorro, New Mexico. It's been real. We found that place to park on I Overlander, which I'm sure you've heard a thousand times before, but man, it really came in handy for us last night. It was the perfect spot. Yeah. We're gonna slow it down so we don't we gotta clean the solar panels real quick here. Right, give them a little dust off. There it is. Solar sweep. Yep. We're pulling into O'Reilly's auto parts for some more coolant. And there's an Indian fry bread truck in the parking lot. We're having fry bread for breakfast. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at our Indian fry bread. It's ginormous. Like we could have so we could have just split one. I didn't know that they were gonna be the size of a freaking pizza. No, it is. <laughs> this is gonna be delicious. It is. Oh and messy to you. How's it taste? It's delicious. Excellent. No, it is good. I don't think I've ever had this before. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Straight vendors rule, you guys. When we get back from Colorado, we're gonna have to go park at Indian Fry Bread Rock. This is called Bread Rock. What? Indian Bread Rock. Oh, Indian Bread it's Rock. It's not fried bread rock. It's not fried, it's like raw Indian bread. <laughs> Petrified Indian bread, I guess. Might, might be cooked, but Indian bread rock. More. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. Yeah, look for um, level ground. Yeah. This looks nice and level right here. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. How about right here? Works for me. Good 
good morning. We woke up in the parking lot of Bass Pro Shops. There it is. That's the pretty little bird. Does anybody know what kind of bird that is? Where's your mama? <laughs> she likes those birds a lot. She wants one of her very own. Oh, she wants a pet to chew on? Mm -hmm. so she cute. will hug it and squeeze it and love it and call it her own. Uh -huh. Hi there. Getting us all hooked up, Mahoney? I'm trying to. I'm going to misplace one of the... We need another big hose. This is our first time hooking up at an RV park. And our hose can't reach. We're going to need another one. Okay, tell me if this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. Oh, the sweeping baby. And this is my son Jasper. Hello. And his wife Gabby. We're hanging out in Colorado Springs. And it is freezing cold here. Let me just tell you, I'm wearing two pairs of pants and my jacket in the house, even though we have the heater on, because I'm a sissy lala. What, what is the temperature out here it's right like now? Let's just cold. find out. Let's see. Dude, there's like a ton. Of... It is 33 degrees outside right now, and 73 in the house, in the bus. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. He totally handles it all by himself. Sometimes. We just we like to let him try. There we go. And now up. Tip up. it up. Up. <laughs> there you go. There we go. <laughs> He's really trying. We let him practice for a while. <laughs> You're so funny, Atreus. <laughs> oh, there it is. Smiles while he's drinking. He's been trying to figure that out since he was a newborn. He would smile while he was eating and all the milk would fall out and then he'd frown like, oh no. <gasps> so oh. oh, he loves it so much. <laughs> Sometimes we worry like, how do you breathe? <laughs> It's our second morning in Colorado Springs, and we're using the camp toaster that we got at Bass, Bass Pro. Pro Shops. Oh, I see it smoking now. It must be toasting. I think that's just little things when I moved it landed on the... Oh, the crumbs are smoking? Yeah, it smells like burnt bugs. <laughs> oh, the butter is hard. Hard as a rock. I didn't forgot about that. Arizona people, damn it. Yeah, this never happens in Arizona. <laughs> There's something suspicious going on in my closet. What do you think could be happening here? Oh no, the wildcat is disappearing into the clothing. <laughs> what are you doing, Mama Sita? Oh, she's gone. Oh, hi, there you are. Hi, Peaky Cat. Did you find a new hidey hole? <laughs> You're so funny. 
We're headed out to do a little bit of shopping this morning for a few souvenirs and maybe a few Christmas presents. And this is where we're headed to Historic Manitou Springs, which is a cute little shopping district. And it's only like a mile and a half away from the Garden of the Gods RV Park. Where Arriving we're at West Colorado Avenue. So that mountain you see back behind the other mountains is Pikes Peak. Oh, and right here, this is called, where you see this little track going up, this little line going up this mountain, it's called the Incline. And it's, what is it? It's a staircase, 2,700 it steps. It used to be a railroad right. going up the side of the mountain. The railroad obviously no longer runs there and you can climb it like stair steps up the side of the mountain. But they say it's pretty strenuous. So here's the little shopping district. And we're gonna grab a bite to eat. And have an awesome day. And find Mike's hat. Oh yeah, and find a hat for Mike. We got a little shopping in, but now we're headed um, to another different shopping district. What's the other one called? So this is Manitou Springs. We're going down to uh, Old Colorado City. Right Look there. at all these chairs. Those aren't wood slats, you guys. They're made out of skis. Isn't that clever? That's very clever. <laughs> got a new gadget, because you guys know how I like gadgets. And this is a Garmin GPS, but it's a GPS that was designed for truckers. One of the things that happened while we were driving uh, coming here is we went over a huge pass. Now, had I done some kind of extensive map recon or something. Wait, I, three really high mountains. We yeah, to say. it was a mountain pass. It was a monstrous the mountain Raton pass. Yeah, it was, it was a really, really, really um, extreme pass. And then add the fact that right at the steepest point of this thing, they were doing construction. It was down to one lane. We were in first gear climbing at 17 miles an hour going through this area. Backing up traffic behind yeah. us. <laughs> then we get to the top and we're like, oh, thank God we didn't die. We didn't overheat and all this stuff, which we were getting very hot um, climbing that. But then? Then the other side, I was totally not ready for the downgrade that we had to go into. And I didn't shift down in time to safely shift down. And so we, we fireballed it down fairly unsafely. I mean, we weren't passing people, but it was uncomfortably fast for me in this bus. And, the, uh, and so I don't want to do that again. This GPS takes into that account for things like that, tells me signs that are coming up in advance that are warning signs like downgrade and all that stuff where I can uh, account for it. And this right here, you can see, you can set it up for a truck or a car or a bus. I put in our weights and our widths and our heights and stuff like that. And it'll attempt to keep me out of places that are unfriendly for the bus uh, on main roads and stuff like that are not main roads. I was able to set our maximum speed, which this bus is happy at 55. I'm just gonna drive it at 55. So I set our max speed at 55. If we're doing better than 55, we'll beat the time, but it will do the time based on the vehicle that we choose. Yeah. So this one here, so I choose that one. And now I can, I can navigate. So it's really, it's cool. And it ha actually has a drive cam on it too. So. It'll uh, sense accidents and record all sorts of uh, uh, things that might happen to us en route. Or if something interesting happens, I can push a button and bring up the camera so we can, like, oh my god, that's a moose. <laughs> uh, cool. The Garden of the Gods. I haven't seen one god since we got here. She's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're so cool. Oh, there's a big one right here. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Lost a piece of bread. Squirrel. You monster. 
you're a, a litter bird's bug. gonna eat that. You're just gonna give some squirrel a big carb loading high. <laughs> Good day for the squirrel. Mm -hmm. He'll be like a junkie yeah, for white bread. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're really good. This is the place we drove by and I'm like, you should just drop me off right here. Yep. <laughs> and now it's a new day and we're headed to the top of Pikes Peak because we hear there is a special treat up there if you make it to the top. So we're gonna get there. Don't, don't, we're not walking. <laughs> we're not hiking. <laughs> we're on our way. We are at 6,500 feet where we're where the bus is right now, and we have to go up to 14,500. That's so we, a lot of elevation. Yeah, that's yeah, that's like 8,000. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be paying. It looks like. Hey Hello. Hi. Just two Hi. of us. Uh, just the two of you. It'd be thirty dollars now. No guarantees that we're gonna get you all the way to the top today. Why is that? Very windy up there. Real borderline. So oh. that could shut us down off the top for safety concerns. It's hitting like 50 mile an hour in the parking lot right now. Right now? Oh. It could be you go around this corner and then she calls down and says, oh, we're gonna shut it down at Glen Cove. Oh, oh. There are plenty of views along the way, plenty of places to stop, get out. We'll get you at least two thirds of the way. Uh, it's Where's up to it? you. I Go for it. We're just Do gonna it. just okay. go for a drive. Where are you guys from? Uh, Arizona. Thanks guys. Thanks man. Uh, thank Bye. you. Bye now. Okay, we'll see what happens. We're gonna take our chances against the wind. The mighty, mighty wind of Pikes Peak. Yeah. We just passed the sign that said it's one mile to the top of Pikes Peak from here. Not oh. one mile driving, one mile altitude. Yeah, one mile in altitude. Crazy! We're gonna drive a mile into the sky today. Whoa! Just past 11,500 feet elevation. And we're trying to figure out at what elevation the tree line here it, is. Yeah, I don't know if there's if it's just one elevation around the whole world where trees stop growing. That's what I was wondering too. Or I'm gonna have to like Google that. So pretty. I think we're out of the trees now. I think we're above the tree line. Look at this ahead of us. It's nothing but barren rocks. Wow. Wow, that's right. Oh my God. And all the that. trees are down below us. We're going to the top. This is crazy. Look at that. So worth it. Like we're just going to fall off the edge at any second. And it's still a very steep oh road. Oh my gosh, this looks like freaking Mordor. Where's our elevation here? 14,115 feet. Nice. What? Highest I've ever been, officially. Yep, me too. Oh, MG, you guys, it is so cold and the wind is blowing so hard out there. They actually closed down the road after we got here. So we were like, one of the last cars to make it to this summit of Pikes Peak. That's right. It's freezing out there. The reason we're breathing so hard is we walked from the Pikes Peak sign to the car. Yeah. That's all. But at 14,000 feet, that's like all your exercise for the day. Yeah, you feel you it. You have to show the thing you got that you can oh. only get at the summit of Pikes Peak. That's right. So I went up to the people and I asked them, I said, is there a unique Souvenir. Souvenir that you can get up here that you can only get up here. That you can't get anywhere else. And this is... A silver coin. The silver Pikes Peak. Yeah. Can you see that with a ram on it? It's so cool. And it says... Uh, what does it say? Pikes Peak? Uh, 
elevation 14,115 feet on the back. Really cool, right? So that was pretty neat. So I okay. wanted to get something unique. But that's not the most exciting thing. Here, hold this, babe. <laughs> Yes, it, don't listen to her. Of course, it's the most exciting thing. The real treat that I mentioned before is what you can only get at the summit of Pikes Peak gift shop from the Donut Factory. <laughs> <laughs> They're so delicious. We each ate already two donuts with a cup of coffee at the summit of Pikes Peak. And that is what I call a glorious vacation day. This is a good one. This was definitely a good one. All right, we're on our way back down to go see the grandbaby some more. Can't get enough of that cute stuff. Somebody's playing games with his grandpa. Oh, oh, oh I'm getting shot at by somebody. Oh, what happened? Oh. He's too active. You're so easy. What the heck? I know. This chair seems to be making it easy, too. Good job, Perfect. buddy. <laughs> what are you boys doing in here? We're raiding. It's raid. What's going on? You're helping daddy raid? <laughs> He's my little buddy. Baby, look out the back window. Look out the back window. Why is she freaking out? There's deer right there. Well, we thought we'd get out of here before the snow started, but just our luck, it's snowing. I don't think it'll stick for quite some time, even though it is 19 degrees outside right now. And, uh, with some wind. We still have to take the uh, rental truck back this morning and uh, then we can get on the road and head south back to uh, Arizona. But uh, it's been an awesome trip. sad you guys it's so hard to be leaving and going back home to Arizona but it sure turned into a winter wonderland out here yeah it's been really fun getting to see the snowy side of Colorado all right we gotta get gas right up here um you know it's crazy we used uh I don't know a fifth of a tank maybe of, of diesel in the six or seven days we were here of using the heater of using the heater yeah so like not very much. And that's using two diesel heaters. Yeah, on and off, but yeah, like that's really wonderful. There was a lot of times we had both of them running at the same time though, and then we would just get so comfortable and start watching TV, we would leave them running longer than we needed to. Yeah, for sure. For hours. Yeah. Oh, the reason for budging like that is air pressure, only because we're like, we haven't really built up our air pressure to travel. You guys, we had to stop at a truck stop and get new windshield wipers. And they didn't have exactly the right windshield wipers that we needed, but Mike was able to, you know, Mike diver it up and make it work. So the windshield wipers are working excellently, but they're starting to pile up with ice on the outside. And we had to reroute our heater pipe. Let me show you. The little pipe that normally connects to this vent on the inside. We took out and rerouted to where it blows out our deep. So 
surgical procedure is about to begin. Oh yeah. You guys see that awesome ice scraper he's using? That's my pampered chef spatula. It's working great on the windshield though. What do you expect? We're from Arizona. We don't own ice scrapers. This is like a foreign thing to us. We gotta use whatever we can find in the house. Great job, Mahones. Dude, that was crazy. How thick the ice was? Yeah. <laughs> Works great as a double hand warmer. Oh, the hands are so cold, it's like fire. Oh, it's hurting. It's, yeah, it's really I hot. hate that feeling, like hot prickly needles. Oh, my hands were freezing from that little picture there. Oh, man, I bet. Oh, it is so cold out there. All these little red brick buildings, they're so cute. Really old bank building. Trinidad, Colorado. Do you need me to hold your tea? Maybe. That was close. It was close. <laughs> <laughs> Good America right into here. <laughs> Don't worry, Boo, you'll move. I learned that drive to Saratoga. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we stopped for gas in Trinidad, Colorado, and look what Mike spotted on our wheels. There's this crazy buildup of ice that has made the most spectacularly beautiful pattern. It's like these crazy Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome spikes. Isn't that insane? It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Wow, let us know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like that before. I mean, there's icicles everywhere too. But uh, the thing in the wheels is pretty spectacular. So cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out here. I'm freezing, you guys. Look at that, one mile border. to the border. We didn't just go over like, there it is, buzzer. We didn't just go over like you know, a hill or something. This was a real mountain pass. Yeah, a treacherous mountain pass. Yeah. This is actually the Raton Pass. Yeah. If you look it up, it is steep for a, a bus. Yeah. Well, we made it to our final resting place for the night, and Mike is attempting to start a fire in our little wood burning stove for the first time. Guess what we woke up to this morning? It's a winter wonderland out there. Okay. How's the snow, Mahones? It's chilly and it's like, I hope it's not slippery. But we're gonna back up and then we're gonna pull out the way we came in and hopefully we can climb that tiny little hill right there without slipping and sliding. A little freaked out right there. <laughs> just getting out I of that spot. I just didn't know like how frozen the ground was. Stuff like that, going up the hills, could have led to us uh, spinning tires, and bad things. However, at least, we're not out of the woods yet. At least the road is pretty clear. Yeah, but it could be icy. Continue on North Main Street. <laughs> this is Main Street, eh? And if we get stuck on a hill, that'll be it. We have to stay until it like stops being stuck on a hill. Well, let us cross our fingers that that doesn't happen. Then. Why not just take Bussy out on the first trip and do something really treacherous? <laughs> we did all kinds of treacherous things on this trip. We've, we've like done all the extremes now. Yeah. We'll go back to Arizona and be like, oh, Lord. Yeah. Well, we won't be scared of anything in the bus after this. I don't think we will. Man, we thought we were out of the worst of the weather. We're not out of it yet. The wind is the rain. It's blowing us all over the place. See the drifts, the drifting snow across the road here. 
It starts getting cold in the bus when we're driving in this cold of weather. It's like the one diesel heater can't quite keep up with all the draftiness that's going on. Well, it's official, you guys. We brought home the Colorado snow to Arizona with us. How's it going out there, Mahones? Oh, it's going. It's Come in and get out of the snow. Hey, guys. This is absolutely the most epic ending to this spectacular adventure we've been on all week. We went all the way to Colorado, as you guys saw in the video, and it was stressful for me in some ways because just driving the bus for only, the first time. Yeah, only during the drive. Yeah, other than that, it was totally chill. Once we got there, it was easy peasy because we were in an RV park, obviously, so. Right. And then coming home, just long drive days aren't fun. Everybody knows that, so. But uh, we drove through that crazy snowstorm that you saw today, and now it's 33 degrees outside, so only one degree above freezing for us Fahrenheit peoples. And there's nothing that could be better than having this actual fire in the fireplace when it's that cold outside. Yeah, I finally got to bust this thing out and use it, which is it's just totally cool. And it's nice and toasty in here now. That's it's, exactly the word I was just thinking. It's toasty. It feels awesome. Yeah, this thing is so, putting off a great, yeah, great amount of heat. Yeah, I'm going to have to take off my jacket. I still have yeah, my jacket on hot. from earlier. <laughs> so. um, but anyway, I guess um, that's where we're going to leave you guys. We'll see where the next adventure is going to take us and what new place we're going to be parked at. We don't even know yet. How can we tell you if we don't even know? We don't even know. Just go so, find yeah. a spot. The adventures continue. Yes. Like, subscribe. And come back and, and see us again next week. Go find us on Instagram if you want up to the date stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya. Bye guys. Bye bye.